Yeah, so we're live, and um, again, my apologies for that to all of our listeners, and um, I didn't even get to have my like great little intro to Lisa DeMilo, but oh, Lisa, if you're still listening, miss you to pieces, so um, tonight we do have a guest, and don't don't worry about this, Marisa, I mean, this is how things flow, you know what I mean, when you're live, <laughs> <laughs> so um, tonight, one of the things that we're going to talk about, again, we um, are on Facebook, so you can find us on all of our Facebook feeds, Mel, Mel do you want to let all our listeners know? exactly where they can find us um, I believe Mary did it on your page so if you're friends with Sharon Costa McNamara on Facebook um, we also shared it on Boston Connect Real Estate's Facebook page and the McNamara Broker Teams and if you're lucky enough to be a part of all of the Connect pages you'll find us there too <laughs> awesome and you should be part of the Connect pages you can go to Pembroke Connect Marshfield Connect Dorchester Connect Situate Hingham Hanover we have a whole bunch of them so uh, find us on all of our Connect pages so tonight what we're going to do is we have a special guest with us so we're doing little segments and then what we're doing is putting them on our podcast as well so our podcast is talk real estate roundtable so you can find us on the apple store app right for the podcast and we're on spotify we're on itunes tune yeah, itunes tune in radio all of those places so you can find um, us there at talk real estate roundtable and then you can say share mcmara mary baker or melissa wallace and we will pop up uh, but we've been doing little segments which we like um so we've had like agent spotlight we have had our preferred professional spotlight uh we had a lot of fun with bloopers on that one (laughs) (laughs) and then uh tonight we're doing a community spotlight and um i have a special guest and friend here with me this evening or with us this evening so i have marisa jacobson with us hello hello (laughs) she's been waiting here patiently through everything just she's so calm (laughs) like we're running around like this that you know we're all over the place she's like hey I have nothing to lose right now (laughs) so um but Marisa is actually um she's actually a past client as well and she is um also a nutritionist and a health coach and she works at Marshfield Chiropractic and Wellness right on Plain Street in Marshfield and she is the nutritionist there with the ideal protein program Right. Right. So um, I have done Ideal Protein. Everybody knows that. I do know. Yeah. I know. I can tell when she's doing it, too. <laughs> Just by the look in her eyes. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Well, I think everybody gets that look when they first do anything new, right? Oh, very true. Um, But I've actually... I've eaten healthy for one day and I'm famished. (laughs) I'm dying right now. But I I had a lot of great success on that. And I think that a big part of it was, you know, not only is it the product, but I do believe that it has a lot to do with Marisa and her coaching and just her style of being very sort of... Um, casual about kicking my butt. Maybe the accountability. <laughs> yes. She says it. She she says, "Get your butt in here" in a nice voice when she really wants to say something yeah. else. Yeah. But we can say those other words on the podcast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, but Marisa, why don't you tell everybody a little bit more about you as a nutritionist and a wellness coach? Well, not wellness coach. I guess a health coach, and a little bit more about the product. Sure. Yep. Well, thanks for having me on tonight. My pleasure. Um, but like Sharon mentioned, um, I, I'm a health coach for the Ideal Protein Weight Loss Program, which is a medically developed three-phase healthy eating plan, mm-hmm. which uh, we educate our clients uh, more on not just the diet aspects of losing weight, but more the overall lifestyle changes. Mm-hmm. And while you Phase one is the weight loss phase. Uh, that's very important because everybody's going home. You know, it's it's mm. February. Um, Can you, you believe know, a month went by already? A month. How's everyone doing with their New Year's resolution so mm. far? And <laughs> well, you know what I gave up? I gave up gum and I did really, really good until yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> and then I had a stressful moment and ate a pack of gum. So a whole entire pack. Yeah. Well, that will be it. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're sugar free, but not that that matters. I know. So. Yeah. And then phase two? Then phase two is what we call stabilization. So Mm -hmm. once you reach your goal, uh, we don't just send you out the door and say congratulations. Um, We stay with you while you stabilize your new weight. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, it depends really how, there isn't really a set time. It's how long, you know, how long it takes you to be comfortable with your Mm -hmm. new lifestyle, the new way that you're you're eating. Mm -hmm. Um, And then phase three is maintenance. So we also help you through that that, uh, phase as well because... 
I feel like maintaining your weight is almost harder mm-hmm. than losing the weight. So 100%. <laughs> right. So again, mm-hmm. it's all about the education, a lifestyle, and you know, you again, come to me every month just to, to help you keep stay on track. And then with the program itself, so there is like some packaged food and things like that, that you, you know what I love, just the cookies. She always ate the cookies. I loved the cookies. <laughs> I think you still do eat the cookies. Nope, I don't have them right oh. now. I don't have any cookies right now. I remembered when you had like an extra pack in the office and when we would stay really late, not going to lie, we went for the ideal cookies. <laughs> the ideal cookies, that's what we're having right now. That's dinner. So not that that's recommended for anybody, right. Marisa, no. <laughs> so, right. um, so why don't you tell our listeners what, you know, part of the program and one of the things I loved is every so often I would get a text message from you and it did really like, like you do have this kind sort of way about you. I'm not sure that I could be a coach cause I'd be like, suck it up buttercup. Like <laughs> you're the one that came in here and said you wanted to lose weight. So do it, you know, right. sometimes people need that. You never yeah. know, you never know. Yeah. But, um, I mean, really is the accountability, the weekly coaching with, that we offer one-on-one every mm-hmm. week. Mm-hmm. And uh, the products, too. We, we did, you know, that is a big part of it. Uh, mm-hmm. you, you mentioned cookies. And, I mean, it is protein mm-hmm. shakes, um, some other foods that help you along the way. Because typically with a weight loss program, you tend to lose fat and muscle. Mm-hmm. But with Ideal Protein and our products, um, you we want to really target that muscle loss. We don't want you to lose the muscle. Yeah. So that's where the products come in, is that they not only, they're portable, um, they not only help you with the cravings of their chocolate, their peanut butter, their great flavor, mm. they're higher in protein. So it helps you along the way with uh, maintaining your muscle, which is really- And they're good. They are, they're very good. I love those lemon wafers. Like, I love them. <laughs> like, honestly, I had them every right. day for breakfast. Right. You know, which helps. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I know that you, um, you know, it isn't recommended that you have a workout program during this whole process. Right. Can you explain why that's so important? Uh, it kind of goes back to the um, how many calories that you're you're eating during the weight loss program. It goes to the losing muscle part. We recommend light workouts. Mm-hmm. We don't recommend anything where you can't have a conversation with someone. So we do recommend you do walking, yoga, Um, anything like an elliptical or, you know, we, we're not going to say don't work out, but Mm -hmm. we don't really want you to do like heavy weightlifting boot camps, um, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like a CrossFit or anything like that, just during the weight loss phase, because you're not actually bringing in enough calories, Mm -hmm. um, during that time, we wouldn't want you to get lightheaded. Um, Mm -hmm. and it's what the body burns first is carbohydrates. And because you're lowering the amount of carbohydrates for energy, um, your body is going to burn the fat. But if it doesn't burn the fat, if you're working out too vigorously, your body tends to go to the muscle and to the pro, the, you mm. know, your muscle and you're burning that, we, which we don't want you to do mm-hmm. during a heavy workout. Yeah. Um, cause Burning muscle and losing weight are kind of opposite processes, Yeah, if that makes sense. Well, it all depends what your individual goal is, I would assume, too, if you're, mm-hmm. you know, looking to bulk down. Like, I used to have a lot of muscle. I could have used <laughs> to lose some muscle, and then now I could use to lose some fat. Yeah. <laughs> so the, <laughs> the approaches are a little bit different. Right. I think what, um, what people think of as losing weight is I have to join the gym. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But without, what they don't look at first is really what they're putting on their plate. Um, you can't outrun your fork is really what I say. Oh, uh, that's really, a good one. <laughs> you know, can I can I tell you what my, my biggest problem is? Sure. And maybe you can give me a little tip. I would love that. Th- this is where my downfall is every single day. I'll be completely okay. honest. When I'm making dinner, I snack. Okay. Like I'm so hungry by the time I get home mm-hmm. that I haven't, I don't know, maybe I'm not eating enough throughout the day, which I don't really think that's true because I eat a lot. They, they see me. Um, but... <laughs> I, she does, do you? I don't think so. I used to. Well, I used to eat well, a ton, um, but maybe I've gotten away from that. But I'll eat like an entire bag of chips while I'm making dinner <laughs> okay. and then go eat dinner. <laughs> maybe it was not an entire bag, but I'm definitely snacking way too much. Uh-huh. So is there like consciously, besides being conscious about what I'm putting into my mouth, mm-hmm. is there any trick that you have that can keep me like from don't doing Don't buy it? chips. Don't buy chips. <laughs> Don't have the chips in the house. Yeah, that's re- that's really it, isn't it? I convince myself that I'm more powerful than those <laughs> chips every single week, and it doesn't. No, you're not. But you're, and you're. I'm I remember not. you. We worked at my house a couple weeks ago, and we worked from oh, home. Oh yeah. And she had a little bit of a hangover, and decided it would be great for us to get some subs. And I'm like, all right, I'm all in. Like I can't remember the last time I had a sub, and then. 
I had chips at the house just for holidays or whatever, you know, mm-hmm. and, um, and then we opened up the chips and and it happened so quickly. So right. what is some of the advice other than the obvious? Don't buy the chips. I mean, how right. do you how do you how do you control yourself not to do it? Well, that's a tough one because yeah. it's really <laughs> it's, it's it's a mental game that you play with yourself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but you said like what you think you're eating to, throughout the day. Really take a look at that. Is it protein? Is it fiber? Because those are the two things that fill you up. But if you feel like that you need to snack during dinner, uh, how about do you need a crunch? Maybe some carrots. Um, maybe yeah. some you know cucumbers. <laughs> something that's crunchy that will help fill celery. you up. Celery. Celery. Oh or- gosh, I think I'm overdoing it with the celery. <laughs> Mm-hmm. She's got me celery yeah. juicing now, um, but mm-hmm. yeah, I've always so I've always thought if I put it in a bowl, mm-hmm. and I never do um, because I just don't. But if I put it in a bowl, then it's re- harder to go and refill your bowl, so it kind right. of controls your portion, I guess. What do you I think know, about that there? I know this got, I derailed this topic, but yeah, um, I don't really see her snacking that much. Do you think filling the bowl is gonna help? No, because I'm just like. I'll just uh, get it's a just bigger so bowl. Close. Or you know, I mean, if you wanted more, you just go get more. Yeah. <laughs> How about chewing gum? Would that help? I'm, I've, I've, haven't chewed gum in a while. I, I heard it was the aspartame and it was bad for you and the sugar-free gum, so I got away from it. But. Um, you can have, probably have gum without aspartame. You can find yeah, it. like non, <laughs> yeah, non, non sugar-free. Right. Whole Foods has it. It right does it right at the checkout. Mm-hmm. Oh, so maybe I'll do. Th- I, I think I do. I need some type of oral fixation while I'm doing right. it, or something. I don't know, mm-hmm. just to be occupying because I'm so hungry. I need to say, like, have a little snack before mm-hmm. I right. eat dinner. So now what, that everybody knows a little bit about me <laughs> and Mary's love for potato <laughs> chips. Um, so now that we're a month in and we're talking about setting goals, yes, you're listening to Talk Real Estate uh, with Sharon McMara, Mary Baker, and Melissa Wallace. But we have um, a guest and friend on tonight, Marisa Jacobson, and she is a health coach, right? Right. health coach and a nutritionist and she is from Marshfield Chiropractic and Wellness uh, right on Plain Street in Marshfield. So we just thought it would be fun to have her on as we do sort of a community spotlight. Uh, we're trying to do things like this once a month just to sort of highlight different companies and businesses in the you know the South Shore area, Absolutely. South Coast area. Um, what do you, we're talking about goal setting because we're going to talk a little bit about goal setting for real estate a little bit later too is, so we're a month in. And what if people stumble and fall? Like, what, what's what's your advice? Like, how do you get them back up and motivated? I think setting the smaller goals, uh, more achievable. I mean, again, it's about getting right back up and getting right back on the plan. Uh-huh. Um, don't let one little slip up uh, ruin your whole day. You say, oh, well, I'll get it again at dinner time. I'll uh-huh. go back on my plan. Um, instead of saying, oh, my gosh, I need to lose 50 pounds. Say this week, you know, I'm going to focus on losing five pounds. Or by next week or the week after, I'm going to focus on my 10 pounds. Or this week, I'm going to focus on drinking my water. You know, break it up into Mm. easy, attainable um, goals rather than thinking, getting overwhelmed with the big picture. The big one. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell you, in in your studio area, your, your office space, it has that big hunk of rubber fat sitting on the counter yeah. like those should scare brother. me i'm not gonna lie i wish you brought it with you it's amazing it's scary. It with me. yeah because five pounds is huge and i just think about five pounds of potatoes mm-hmm. like think about carrying five pounds of potatoes around with you right mm-hmm. but this is like rubbery and when i'm in there and i when i lost my like first five pounds i was like i'm taking pictures of this because look what i just lost but when you hold it up against you it is amazing right so that sort of keeps you motivated mm-hmm. too, you know? Right, or have a visual. You're right, that's a great thing. If you if you have something that you're uh, looking forward to, like a wedding or, um, you know, a vacation or a trip, have a little picture on your refrigerator of the dress that you're going to be wearing mm-hmm. or, you know, or the bikini that you want to get into. Yeah. Just something that reminds you about it every day. Yeah. Well, one of the things too is I feel with the program, you can lift that up some <laughs> too. It's the whole bar. Yeah, there you go. Um one of the things is how you sort of feel on the inside because I was always trying to think that through like do I feel better because okay I've lost you know seven pounds or whatever you know or do I feel better it just feels better inside I don't Mm -hmm. know how to explain that but like 
because we're just talking about how much weight that is, but it's almost like, all right, great. You can, you can zip up the skirt now you can put on the pants now, but it's, you know, I'm 51 years old. And for me, it's like this different thing that I'm sort of trying to achieve. And one is not buying a whole new wardrobe, but two is how I feel on the inside. So when I do go up a flight of stairs, Mm -hmm. um, I feel like I can breathe better. Right. Right. So do you have people that are sort of joining, uh, you know, coming to you because those are their goals or is everybody just strictly just weight loss? No, uh, a lot of the people I see are on medication, maybe for high blood pressure. So mm. one of their goals is to either reduce or to get off of that medication. Um, other people just, again, they want to feel better playing with their grandchildren or playing with their mm-hmm. children. Mm-hmm. They want to feel less bloated. Um, mm-hmm. They just want to feel better about themselves. They want to have more energy. A lot of our um, clients are women who may be going through menopause and, mm-hmm. and their bodies are changing and they're trying to figure out why. Um, and this eating plan is great in a way that it does, it shakes up your metabolism. Mm-hmm. Um, we had a woman, woman who came to us who was very skeptical. She said, um, you know, I, I haven't I've tried everything. I, I can't lose it. Mm-hmm. I just can't. And she was so shocked when she lost the, the 25, 30 pounds. Mm-hmm. And she's wow. a believer yeah. you now. And she'll, uh, she's, she's learned more about her body and what she can and can't eat at certain times. And she said, I'm not eating enough and I can tell. Yeah. Or, um, well, you know, like intuitiveness. Right. And with- now she knows what to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. almost like, you know what it feels like when you're doing the wrong thing. Right. Like your body then tells you because you're so attuned to that. Mm-hmm. And I'll, I'll say it. I don't care. I'm 51. Of course I'm menopausal. Right. <laughs> So, so along with all the, you know, sometimes snapping at Mark attitudes, but, um, no, but for me, I mean, maybe TMI, but you know, I sort of went through that process earlier and from growing up, I, I was the person who thought about losing weight and I did, Mm -hmm. you know, so it was always very easy for me. I was like, you know what I mean? In a week I could lose what I needed to lose or, you know, just stayed very focused with it when I got pregnant and things like that. I, I never had a difficult time with weight. Right. But I would say from the time that I was 45 until maybe even sooner than that, like 43-ish, it was different. And mm-hmm. I do find that the program has helped, that definitely helped me. You know what it helped me mostly with is um, quantity mm-hmm. of like how much food you're eating. Because right. like Mary, I mean, we're going, me, Mary, and Melissa, we're going all day long. So by the time we right. get down and there's a plate of food, Honestly, you could give us a five-gallon bucket and we would think that that was okay because we didn't eat all day, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. <laughs> so right. what are what are some of... Tell us a little bit more about the program and how you're telling... Like how much protein people should be eating and how much chicken and vegetables and all those things. Mm-hmm. For phase one, it's very specific. We give you a sheet uh, when you leave the office and it, it's laid out with everything you need to do for the day. So it's very easy. Mm-hmm. Um, we are giving you a certain amount of protein so you can measure it. Um, at home, we are giving you, you know, a certain amount of vegetables that you're going to be eating throughout the day. We're giving you your ideal protein products, so it's all mapped out. So really, what we say is eat the sheet. All you have to do mm-hmm. is look um, and pick. You know, mm-hmm. we're even giving you a shopping list to go to the store with. Mm-hmm. Um, we're, you know, so everything is pretty much laid out there. Um, it is. It's you know, chicken. It's lean meats. It's vegetables. It's um, unlimited leafy greens. Fish. Fish. Yep. Seafood. Mm-hmm. Um, Things like that. So you really, there is no, not a guessing game. You don't really have to count any points. Yeah. Um, you don't have to say, well, I don't know what, I, you know, what I need to have for my snack because we have it all laid out for you. Yeah. And you're not counting calories either because right. I know that that can be very difficult. Right. That's something that I actually do mm-hmm. frequently. Um, and it's hard right. it's, uh, you're, when you're talking your calorie intake versus right. output. Uh, right. It can be difficult. Right. You're not counting calories, bless you. You're not Thank counting you. carbs. You're not counting anything. It's all on the sheet, and that's all you have to do. It's pretty much foolproof. So is that – what do you think the biggest difference is between you and some of the other programs that are out there that people can use for weight loss? I think the coaching, the one-on-one, mm-hmm. on one, the accountability uh, every week, the mm-hmm. education that we're giving to you. Do you have to sneeze now, too? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> so go ahead again. I'm sorry. The one I like the individual coaching. Right. You know what I mean? Because I know that I've done other programs and not mm-hmm. that one program, you have to find what works best for you. Right. 
And for me, I liked that one-on-one, you know. And here's the thing. I think one of the things with me with you, I was always very honest with you when I was doing really well or if I was like, hey, I'm just going to be honest. Like, I'm doing this or I'm going here. And chances are, remember in the summer, too, right. when we have the boat, it's difficult. Mm-hmm. But I liked having that account. Like, I didn't want to disappoint you. Right. <laughs> So that's why it, you know, sort of worked for me. But then there was a time when I got very, very busy that I was able to just sort of pop in, grab my Mm -hmm. product and leave. But you always checked in. Like, how's everything going? I I remember one day taking a picture of the scale and I sent it to you. Yeah. Right. Right. So I'm sorry I cut you off. I tend to do that. That's okay. (laughs) (laughs) So other things you were saying, the things that make you different. So the one-on-one accountability and coaching and you're more, you're a nutritionist versus just like a health coach, bus. like I want to say count your points type thing. Right, right. right? I think I, I give people insight on why rather than, mm. you know, just do it. But why do I have to do it? Or um, what is this going to do for me? Or why is this happening mm-hmm. <laughs> to my body? Or You know, or uh, I think I feel like I have that next level of um, knowledge yeah. that I can explain Sometimes people look at me cross-eyed when I explain the science behind it, Mm -hmm. but I think that helps people understand Mm -hmm. why they're doing it um, and why they have to eat certain things Mm -hmm. um, at certain times and when it will come back into their life. Now, I know that, is it okay for me to say on on the air that Brian did it? No one knows. Okay. So, okay, great. So Brian, her husband, because I could say Brian and no one knew who it was. Right. (laughs) So I remember he had done the program and then I got in a little competition too. So I was like, (laughs) I'm going to totally beat him now. Um, But he did really, really well. Right. Men tend to do a little bit better than women. Darn Um, men. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I feel like that's very common, like with any type of weight loss. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, yep, we're still alive. Okay. Um, men tend to do better. Right. Uh, they have for whatever reason it is. They have a faster metabolism because they tend mm-hmm. to have more muscle. Mm-hmm. They don't have to really struggle with the hormones that we do. Mm. Um, and yeah, for some Don't reason, basically they got it easy. Mm-hmm. Men, yeah. you got it easy. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> we love you. Yeah, but I mean, right. how much did he lose total the first time he did it? I remember it was sort of a lot, wasn't it? Was, it was um, about 35 pounds. That's Total's a lot. A lot. Mm-hmm. And it was only in about nine weeks, 10 weeks. Yeah, well, I remember he had so. done a really, really, really good job on that. Maybe three months. Yeah. So what are some of your, other than your husband, like what are some of your other great success stories for people who have done the program? Um, I mean, we've, we've held... I have um, a client who's been in maintenance for ooh, probably a good four or five years now. He lost over 100 pounds. Wow. And he's maintained it. Congratulations again, to him. Yeah, he knows, you know, again, he's one of those people who knows what he needs to do. And if he goes up a little bit, he knows how to get back down. So he's he's managing it through exercise mm-hmm. um, and through, you know, life again, lifestyle changes on what he can and can't eat. Mm-hmm. Um you know, that's probably the, some, a lot of people we've helped go off their medication, as I mentioned before. Mm-hmm. I think that's um, an important one. Mm-hmm. I like that a lot. Yeah. That shows my age right now, doesn't it? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I'm just always so concerned about, you know, I've been just what watching, you're putting into your body. Yeah. Right. You know, just the chemicals of, and I just feel like medication is sort of relieving. It, it's taking away the symptoms of an issue. It isn't taking away the issue. Right. Right. Exactly. So that's why I think, you know, with the, you know, and two, it's just being healthy because right. one thing is no sugar, right? Mm-hmm. So talk about like the consequences of sugar and why sugar is so bad for us. Cause I've been watching right. some documentaries and they say it's just as addicting as cocaine. Right. It is the certain part of the brain with drugs and sugar. It's the same that, mm. that turns it on. It's scary, but there's hidden sugars and everything. I mean, there's hidden sugar in bread and people come in and say, well, I eat healthy. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Um, well, have you read the label and have you read how much mm. sugar is in that granola. Um, have, do you know how much sugar is in the Greek yogurt that you're eating? Um, have you read the label? You know, because there's uh, sugar comes in uh, probably about 500 different forms. Mm-hmm. Is there names. an appropriate amount of sugar for somebody to intake? Or is it, because I, well, so I know ideal protein is a no sugar, but is there it's very like low. a very low? Because you can't really get away from it. Um, yeah. I mean, natural sugar that occurs. Um, I mean, there's like in fruits and fruits and yeah. vegetables and things like that. But um, I mean, it's really keeping an eye out for the added, the added sugar. 
that are okay. in, that are in. And you know, Marisa, that's one everyday of the everyday things. Yeah, that's that was very one of the surprising things mm-hmm. with me is that you taught me how to read the labels and understand the labels. And I remember one time I found something and I was like, "Oh, I think that this was okay." And she's like, "We'll bring in the package and we'll read through it together." But educating, you said that earlier. I think that right. that's like such a key point of it is educating you what, on why you're eating this way. Mm-hmm. And you know, a lot of people are like, "Oh, it's just the next fad. It's like a keto. It's like this. It's that." And it really isn't. It's just it's it's teaching you how to read the labels. Mm-hmm. I was surprised to see what sugar is in. It's in vinegar, right? right. Like it's ketchup. It, ketchup is the mm-hmm. worst, right? You know, so mm-hmm. people are like, "Oh, I'm I'm just gonna have a little ketchup because it's tomatoes." Uh uh-uh, uh, mm-hmm. my friend, it is not. High it's sugar and syrup. <laughs> yeah, and right. some of the crap you can't even read. Right. That's what always scared me, and I um. I'm I'm not crazy about it now, but I was at one point. Remember when I my, I went vegan? Yeah. I went crazy and I went vegan once. Mm-hmm. Not that vegans are crazy, but I did it cold turkey, mm-hmm. um, and I shouldn't have done it that way. I started reading the labels on everything, and 99% of the things I could not pronounce. Right. Like mm-hmm. so, I shop at the outer corners of the grocery. I really do. I don't shop in the middle anymore, except right. for that one bag of chips. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's one thing that we tell people. <laughs> Shop on the outside, <laughs> yeah. the perimeter. Sorry. Right. I mean, food is medicine. It sounds cliche, but that really no, is. Aristotle said that, right? right? Hippocrates. Oh, oh Hippocrates. Hippocrates. Same thing. <laughs> Aristotle. Same thing. <laughs> you are at snaps for the Greek yeah. reference over there. You yeah. are what you eat. Yeah. Well, what about the boys now? How old are the boys now? 17 and 14. Yeah. So when you're eating that way, I mean, and they're in sports and, you know, all kinds of things with the school and doing activities and everything. How how do they, like, do you eat for them too? I mean, there's definitely difficulties. Yeah. It's hard um, because they're teenagers and, yeah. and they want to eat at, at Chipotle and Taco Bell and, you know, mm. and they, they want to, and you have to let them do some of it. Yeah. But I try at home, I try to make and teach them, you know, what is good and what is bad. And again, reading the labels and what's in things. And like a balanced menu, a yeah. well-rounded menu. As much as we can. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. And no, so, you know, try to cut back on the soda. And we never had soda in the house for a long time. But once, you know, they start driving and mm-hmm. we, it's oh really hard gosh. to control. <laughs> I can't even believe try. he's driving right now. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, that's really interesting. Is he a junior or a senior? Junior. He's a junior. So has he started looking at colleges? Yep. Oh, good. That's exciting. Yay. That's a whole nother topic, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a topic I actually love because I <laughs> had so much fun looking at colleges, but we'll do that another time. Um, what are some of the other questions? Any questions that you might have, Melissa? I can't think of anything. Um, relating, so just the idea of um, treating yourself as a whole person and balanced nutrition and, and you know working out. Being in real estate or selling real estate and buying real estate, it's one of the most stressful things that anybody is ever going to do. Do you see a lot of people going through like high stress times that are coming in because it's just very easy to fall off the wagon, so to speak, or kind of lose yourself in those big moments in life, you know? Right. Yes, definitely. I think one of the highest stress jobs we see a lot of is nurses. Oh, really? Okay. To us, and it's hard for them. Again, um, well, that is really tough. They're on their feet all day. They can't take shifts. a lot of breaks, the overnight shifts, because your body is just turned upside down. Mm-hmm. Um, so we work a lot with, you know, with nurses, with people who have high stress, who travel, people who travel mm-hmm. a lot. I That's try to give them tough. tips. Mm. That is tough, but you can do it. I mean, everything is yeah. doable. Uh, you can take a cooler with you. You can prepare your food ahead of time. Uh-huh. Um, that's the biggest thing. I feel like if you're not prepared, then you're going to get yourself in trouble. Uh-huh. Even just every day, not not uh-huh. just for weight loss in general, but just to maintain uh-huh. um, a healthy lifestyle is you really have to think about what's in your refrigerator, what you're going to have for your snack, kind of plan mm-hmm. ahead. Healthy planning. Maybe on Sundays, make some recipe, you know, make some meals ahead of time put them in the fridge or the freezer Mm -hmm. and and separate, you know, single containers and Mm -hmm. just bring them with you. Um, It was one of the things I remember is because I I got the cookbook and then you always had recipes out too, right? So I would always take like a different recipe every week. And I remember one day I was cooking something and it was like red pepper. I had red peppers in there, green peppers in there. And just like, it was the most colorful thing you ever saw in a pan that it actually made you happy. So like, I feel like that's on purpose, right? Because that's probably the way we're supposed to be eating with fresh vegetables and, Mm -hmm. you know, oh, I had, did I not have squash? Maybe not. No. Maybe not. Nope. I did not have squash. I had peppers though. Yep. I had peppers. Yep. But no squash. No squash. squash. (laughs) I love that you had to 
think but about occasionally, that. But really. <laughs> occasionally, you could have some spaghetti squash. Right. Right? Occasional. Occasionally. Occasionally. Yeah. So I see I paid attention. Yeah, she told me. <laughs> you did. And you've retained it. I more remember what I couldn't eat. Right. <laughs> like, no. That's another thing. Focus on what you can eat. Yeah. Not what you can't. No, that's a really, really good point. <laughs> well, if you're pre- preparing, so just like we're talking about, we talk about preparing your house to sell or preparing yourself to buy. If you're preparing yourself to Mm -hmm. um, be successful in a weight loss plan or whatever it is, it's all about the planning that comes along with it. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, So I can see that. I mean, I meal prepped on Sunday during Mm -hmm. the Super Bowl Mm. (laughs) or right before the Super Bowl. Yeah, I can't. I I I don't like cooking. I despise it. I so that's we my problem. I don't like to mm-hmm. like prepare for the week. Like I'm the type of person where I just that I guess that's my problem is I go home and, and I'm already starving and I'm like, what do I want for dinner tonight? Right. And mm-hmm. it's just one person. I'm only cooking for myself, so I waste so much food anyways mm-hmm. that I'm like, I don't even want to go out to the grocery store and buy food because I know I'm gonna waste half of it anyways. Right. Right. So that's that's my mentality, and I know it's not the right way to think, but it's just the habits that I'm in. Yeah. And I'm I, so that's why. But I you don't have like prepared to foods. There, Some. Yeah, there, there are a lot of delivery services now, like HelloFresh. I mean, I, I've mm. heard about them. You could do that. Um, yeah. Whole Foods delivery, you know, something like that. But that you have the whatchamacallit, though. Like the, you know, I thought that there was like chilies and things. I didn't particularly want to do some of those things, but the oatmeal. Right. We do have some, yeah, part of the Ideal Protein Program is there are some foods that can prepare quickly mm-hmm. that are healthy and on track. Yeah. You know, on the plan. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So if people um, have questions, first of all, if you do have questions, uh, we, well, we are actually live. do have a question oh, from somebody on Facebook Live. All right, so. but first I'm going to give the phone number okay. for other people that might want to call in. 781-837-4900, 781-837-4900. Um, again, you're listening to Talk Real Estate with Sharon McNamara, Mary Baker, and Melissa Wallace. Tonight we're doing a community spotlight, so we want to highlight somebody in the community because that's what we're all about here at Boston Connect Real Estate. And uh, Marisa is a friend and a past client. Um, I helped them uh, sell one of their homes and purchase a new home. Uh, the experience was wonderful, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Marisa is a nutritionist. She's a wellness coach at Marshfield Chiropractic and Wellness, which is right, um, I think it's what, 1030 Plain Street? 1020. 1020 Plain Street. Mm-hmm. I was That was pretty good of that me too. That was, close. was pretty yeah, close. 1020 Plain Street in Marshfield. And what is that question? Um, again, if you have a question, 781-837-4900. That's right to WATD Studio with Ben. But who on Facebook has something to ask? So we have a question from Carol Carey Wasmouth. I'm okay. sorry if I'm not pronouncing your last name right, but I tried. Um, so what does the typical day on the plan entail? She said she started watching a little late, so she might not have got, got it when we first were talking about it. But So what is the typical day on the ideal plan look like? Very good question. Okay, that is a great question. Hi, Carol. <laughs> I know Carol. <laughs> Do you know <laughs> Carol? <laughs> Hi, Carol. Hi, Carol. Hi, <laughs> Carol. Um, well, a typical day is you start off with an ideal protein um, product, uh, and you can still have your uh, coffee or tea. And we have a lot of products that go along with a breakfast, but like Sharon had mentioned, she loves the vanilla, I mean, the lemon Lemon. wafer that we have. Mm -hmm. Um, And then your lunch will be two cups of vegetables uh, plus another ideal protein product. And you can also have uh, like um, three ounces of a a lean protein, like your beef or chicken or, you know, like a grilled chicken on a salad. You can have as many leafy greens as you want. Mm -hmm. Um, Then in mid-afternoon, a lot of people choose a snack, which would be an ideal protein, um, protein bar or chips or something that goes along with that. And then dinner is another four to five ounces of, of animal protein, like your chicken or your fish, and another two cups of vegetables. And then during the day, um, 64 ounces of water, and um, you know you add in some of your olive oil, which is a healthy fat, and, and things like that. Well, so the olive oil was like, what, one or two teaspoons or two something? Teaspoons. Two teaspoons, yep. yep. And then you have the multivitamins and all the supplements that go along with it. Right. And I have to tell you, so you know the, the magnesium, the, mm-hmm. like the little... Um, I acted like those were Tootsie Rolls, so uh, you had to take them at night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In my head, right. they were Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> Again, it's all mental. It's all a mental So game. that was your little, like, nighttime snack? Yeah. <laughs> like your little chocolate fix or something? Well, Mark would say, well, what are you eating now? I was like... It's a multivitamin. No, it's a supplement. In my head, I'm like, it's a Tootsie Roll. (laughs) 
<laughs> Whatever okay. you got to do to get through the day, <laughs> Sharon. Yeah. But then you could have as much like leafy greens as you wanted, right? right. So you I could have used kale. to make these big, big, big spinach salads. salads. Big, big spinach yeah. salads right. I would have. Like, and, right. um, you know, all kinds of greens and everything. Mm-hmm. And it was funny, too, because that really, when you see how much that is on your plate, it's a lot. So when you only have, and again, the six ounces, how many, four ounces of the chicken or something at night? Right. And only red meat really like once a week or something, right? right? Yeah. As long as it's lean. I just in general, red meat, you know, tends to just be higher in fat and calories and everything. So to go with the chicken or the turkey or the fish is is just healthier. Yeah. And common sense. You're not eating the skin off a, you know, a baked chicken, right? Yeah. (laughs) Oh, yeah. So it's a ketogenic eating plan. So very low carb, um, low calorie, low fat. So hopefully that answers Carol's question. Mm -hmm. It's not the keto that everyone is hearing about. Um, what are the differences? A, a typical keto is very high in fat. You'll probably see people eating a lot of bacon and cheese and avocados mm. and that type of butter, thing. Butter, coffee. Butter, right. Cream. Um, yeah, someone which, was talking today about like cream. the two cups of cream mm-hmm. with like some powdered pudding or something. Right. Which for some people works. Some people it's very unhealthy because their cholesterol can go sky high. Again, it's all up to the individual. And um, our plan is lower in fat. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're just pointing your body to burn your fat rather than eating it. <laughs> Are you, so you're also taking measurements of like, you know, your waist and things like that, but you don't, you, do you recommend that people get like their blood work done beforehand just to see, you know, if they are bringing down their cholesterol yep. and mon- yep. like, do you, are you able to help them read through those results and everything? Yeah. No, yeah, I can. Well, oh, that's good. I'm not really big on getting my blood drawn, but you know, maybe. Right. I, know, I mean, it's, it's just a basic kind of overview. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, no, you don't do that there. I don't do that um, no, you there, don't do but that if they, there. it's a good idea to go see your physician. Mm-hmm. All right. Perfect. Well, Marisa, we've been through the whole show with you and we didn't talk anything real estate. Was there anything else that you wanted to hit upon before we let you give all of your information for our listeners to call you? I don't think so. No, we hit everything. I Look, hit I see everything. you have your I notes, know. just like All a typical, like a typical first time <laughs> right. guest, right? I have my notes and <laughs> yeah, but usually we don't get through them. Yeah, right. <laughs> I know we got through it all. Lucky. Yeah. So, Marisa, if people wanted to uh, get in touch with you and they wanted, how do they start the process and the program if they wanted to get with you? And again, I am giving this um, a two thumbs up because I have used the program. Um, I'm, right now, I'm really not just because I am doing some extra exercise stuff that um, would be too much for me to do be doing both. Mm -hmm. Um, But for me, I'm really sort of enjoying that part of the things, but I am using a lot of things that you taught me. So I'm, I'm, you know what I mean? So I feel like I'm in that, that that education part. Yeah. That education part of bringing on with you. Yeah. And knowing like, I can only have, you know, I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be doing that. Um, I think of you every time I have a piece of candy. No, (laughs) (laughs) every time she has a Tootsie roll for sure. (laughs) I know. I know. I was like, can I just stop in and get, my Tootsie Rolls? No. Um, so how can people get in touch with you over at Marshfield Chiropractic and Wellness? Uh, you can give us a call or it's 781-834-7300 um, and set up an appointment huh. for your initial consultation. Uh-huh. Um, how long of appointment like should people expect and like how far out are you booking right now? Um, right now we have some um, availability and you know, at the end of this week and next week. Uh-huh. Um, and if you do want to come in and sign up, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour for your initial visit as we ask you to fill out a health profile so we can go over, you know, your history and what you're eating now and things like that. Uh-huh. Um, but we are offering um, a $20 um, initial sign up fee, which is special for 2020, just mm-hmm. for the month of February. So that um, that's kind of like our, our little special to mm-hmm. welcome everyone. 2020. 2020. 2020. Yeah, so what is like it? That. $20 off of? It's $20 to sign up. Which okay. Is, yeah. It's typically, it's 50. Okay. Oh, um, perfect. Right now, or uh, they can go to marshfieldchiro.com and click on ideal the ideal protein logo if you want to read a little bit more about it on our website. Mm-hmm. Um, or you could go to the corporate site, which is idealprotein.com. Mm-hmm. Um, Perfect. And what about, do you have an email maybe if someone, or do you not check that? You prefer they just call? Um, yeah, we have an email, um, ideal 
Oh, God, I'm trying to remember. Ideal protein at marshfieldchiro.com. Okay. Well, you can just look that up on the website. Right. <laughs> and um, why don't you give that phone number one more time? 781-834-7300. Perfect. And weirdly, um, we have a phone number here, and it's uh, 781-826-7300. Oh, hmm. wow. Yeah, isn't that weird? But our main number here at Boston Connect is 781-826-8000. So if you want uh, didn't get any of that information and you want more information on how to get in touch with Marisa, we are happy. Happy uh, to do that for you. Um, Mel, do you want to tell everybody about some of our open houses this weekend? Um, yes, we have three new listings this week. We have um, two on today. Yep, two two new on listings. today, one yesterday. So um, I'm trying to say it off the top of my head. We're at 17 Acorn Lane in Pembroke on Sunday from 1 to 3. That will be with me. Um, and then we have 523 Washington Street Unit B1. That is also Sunday uh, one to three, Mary will be there. We have Copperwood and Bristol, of course, and then we have another brand new listing, 109 Damon's Point Road mm-hmm. in Marshfield. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous house. That is going to be Sunday from 10 to 12. Sharon's going to be there, so yes. stop by and see us. Yeah, so lots definitely. of activity this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to be busy, busy. So check out those new listings. You can go to bostonconnect.com and find all of our new listings there. Um, again, if you want to reach out to Marisa, uh, feel free to give her a call at 781-834-7300 or you can call us here if you would like a one-on-one consultation regarding buying a home or selling a home uh, we can help you with your resolutions to stay on track as well and save for that next house or get ready to put your house on the market spring market is here 781-826-8000 bostonconnect.com thanks everybody bye ben thanks bye have a great night ladies thank you marisa